Hello there folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video today. Today's video is on the brand new F16 3 Pixel Controller. This is the next generation of Pixel Control. And today what I want to do is I want to set up and run for the first time this Pixel Controller. And all I want to do is talk about adding power and correctly adding power to the board and the basic small things that you need to know before you begin. So first off, what we have done is I'm using a computer power supply. This has both 5 volt and 12 volt on it. I'm only using the 5 volt side and the ground side. I'm not using 12 volt because uh, most of my pixels are uh, 5 volt as, uh, as, as it works. And uh, there are two things that I'm going to show you physically on the board and I want to make the distinction for you on how, how they're important for you. For first thing is you'll notice that most 16 output pixel controllers that I've seen have two power inputs. And this is typically the reason why is because the, the output of the pixels may depend on more power than can be fed through one power supply. So uh, in that respect, having two separate or segregated power inputs you can run a significantly larger amount of pixels and obviously with the F16 V2 and the ability to run uh, 96 universes of pixels out of all of this that's uh, unbelievable. So what I want to go through is I want to explain to you the difference between these inputs and the V2 inputs on the uh, on the Falcon controller. So the current version of the V3 shows that on the left hand side we have we have a power input and the hot is on the inside here it's on the right side um, the ground is on the left and why this is important is because if you go to the other side of the board the hot is on the left and the power uh, the uh, the uh, ground is on the right so these two inputs these power inputs are set up in reverse and there is a good reason why. I'll pick up the board and we'll show you exactly why that works. So remember, the power, the positive is on the right, positive is on the left. So when we turn the board over, you'll begin to understand just a little better about what is going on. Now, obviously, I don't have the, the, the uh, power supply turned on, so you don't see any, you, you, you won't see any sparks or anything, hopefully. Um, so we said the hot power, the, the voltage plus, is on the inside. And that's the inside of the main input. Here is the inside of the main input over here. And you'll see that these are connected but split down the middle. There's no power trace connecting these two traces here. So this half of the board is powered with a hot on the inside here. And the inside here powers these first uh, eight inputs. Now the neutral is actually traced on the back of the board up to the upper side of the board and the neutral is actually connected throughout. So this is tying your grounds together for you. And that's very that's a very nice addition. Uh, the reason why he, de he designed this board this way, I can't begin to speculate, but if I were to guess, I would say that it was because of the design of the back side of the board and to easily get power to the pixels in the most efficient manner possible. So, but the real reason why, I'll leave that up to David to explain. So I can't, I, I'm not gonna speak for him. The second thing that I want to show you about this Pixel controller is the, um, the, the, power, the power settings for the physical board itself. Now I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna try to hold the V3 as stable as I can while I point this out. A lot of folks, uh, a lot of folks don't know what a jumper is, and very simply, a jumper is this right here. This little pin. You have a set of pins with a with a connector that joins two pins together, and what you can do is you can pull this pin out and set to either this set of pins or this set of pins. Now. What I have done on the V3 is I, I am using, since I'm using 5 volt pixels, you can see that this is input power. I've, I've gone ahead and selected my power input to 5 volts, as you can see there. And then on the other side of the board, there is uh, 7 to 36 volts. So I have disconnected. Now, if I had 12 volt pixels, and some people do, if uh, I would connect that 
jumper pin right there. I just I pull it out and I connect those two pins. So that's what I'll do now is I'll try to do this while I'm on camera. All you have to do is just grab the pin. There's a little notch in it that you can get your nail into and you can connect them by putting the right over top of the pin. So now if I had uh, 7 to 16, uh, 36 volts of power that would be the correct setting right there. But since I'm using 5 volt I'll go ahead and jump. I'll move the jumper over and make the connection. So that's the that's probably the, the most important first two steps that you could go through on the F16 V3. So next what we're going to do is we're going to just do a power up on the board and that's going to be it for the video. Okay, so right now I've got the power plug in my hand. Let's go ahead and clear up the video and let's uh, let's actually let's uh, unplug my counter lights and that makes it a lot more dark because the next thing you see is going to be pretty pretty cool so we're plugging in the f16 v3 power supply you can see we have the oled display right now it says booting controller falcon christmas display logo and now it shows that we have the computer uh or the power supply has uh uh completely started help start the internal workings of the processor which now shows as uh, the comp the uh, the OLED shows that it is idle it says uptime and it shows a live time clock it shows the version the physical version of the firmware which right now it's at 0, 0.00 and to my understanding I think it's actually the F16 V2 firmware uh, so that's what we'll be starting out with um, then the, it shows the IP address is all zeros because there is no network data connected into there. And I think the most striking thing that you're going to find is all of these LEDs are all lit up here in the front of the board. And I think that is the most coolest thing because these will denote uh, a fused connection has either been broken if the light is off or if the fuse is working, then the light is on. And that, that it's kind of neat. It almost makes you wish you could... Uh, sequence those you know we get them to work those leds to work with you with your lights but in any event um i do notice that we have two other leds that are lit up uh the the board tray says or not the board the silk screen says it is power and it says led one i believe that's what it says so when we get into uh, working with the manual, I know John Storms is is going to be doing uh, a lot of the manual work for the for the boards, but this is the basic setup. <clears throat> um, and unfortunately, I played with this this morning, but I've got to get to work again. It's a heck of an Easter weekend, and I work tonight and then tomorrow morning again. I really won't have the time to play with this until Monday. So uh, hopefully, John and some of the other folks will uh, take some pictures and some videos and share them this weekend as well. So. Folks, this is Clyde signing off from Leechburg Lights. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, and uh, there will be a lot more to come.